What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, JB, and we are here with the episode, the season three premiere of Sisters on BET. So this is season three, episode one, and the episode was titled, When You're Confused. All right, you guys. So before we get into this review, do me a solid favor. If you guys are watching this video or any others on the channel, subscribe to the channel. If you guys are not already subscribed, like why are we still going out on dates and you guys are not paying for my meal? Only fair, right? So hit the subscribe button, notification bell button, select all and like the video with that being said without further ado let us get into the episode review shall we <laughs> all right you guys so this episode the beginning of this episode was freaking hilarious it picked up where the season finale of season two left off with jasmine in andy's room after she shot gary so it was a lot of back and forth with this one. Don't shoot me, beg for it, bitch. Don't shoot me, beg, bitch. Don't shoot me, beg, bitch. Don't shoot me, beg, bitch. It was just a lot of that. It was hilarious. But Jasmine is crazy as hell. Like, literally, she's crazy. We got to check on him. I shot that. I shot him. He cheated on me with you. He bought you a bigger ring than mine. I'm like, okay, Jasmine, you're doing the most. So then, for some, I don't know why Jasmine went to the bathroom where Aunt, where Gary was, but she went to the bathroom. Andy got up out the bed in her panties and bra, and they were fighting. So the gun is boom, 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 and then they get on the bed, and you know, um, um, Jasmine had control of the gun at this point and had it pointed at Andy. I think she clicked it. You know, Jasmine must be really stupid. I'm sorry. Jasmine must be stupid. Because I just thought about what it was. Because she fired two shots. She fired two shots. Two, right? Remember this. She fired two shots at Gary. And then, when she and Andy were fighting over that gun, I'm almost positive it went off at least three or four times. It went off four. Actually, I think it went off four times, if I'm being honest. Because I know boom, boom. I think it went boom and boom. I think it went off four times, if I'm not mistaken. I think it went off four times. And I'm guessing Jasmine don't know how many bullets are in the chamber. <laughs> so when she started clicking, nothing. So Andy got up and got the laptop and popped her ass with it. I was like, hey, you are smart. Semi. So then Andy runs to the door. When she ran to the door, the police were at her door. I was like, Tyler, very unrealistic. I get Andy lives in a high rise, unless there's on site police. That's the only thing I can think of. Because he said that the neighbors called the cops because they heard gunshots. And I was like, damn, the gunshots just rang out. The gunshots just literally rang out and y'all are already at the door. How would that happen? Again, unless Andy has on site, you know, uh, unless there's on site police there, I don't know how that happened. But Andy was telling them about Jasmine and about Gary. The cops, they were so stupid. I'm keeping it real, really stupid. So then we go over to Sabrina and Jacoby. So Sabrina tells Jacoby it's time for him to go home. Jacoby, however, wants to finish what he and Sabrina started on that kitchen counter. But Sabrina, she's telling him he needs to go. Sabrina, love, you work in my nerves. Sabrina works my nerves. I don't know who annoys me more, Sabrina or Andy. Like, I really don't. I mean, I know it's, I feel like it's equal for me with Sabrina and Andy. No, Andy's at the top of that list. I, I really feel like Andy's at the top of my list. And then, yep, it's Andy, then it's Sabrina, then it's Karen, then it's Danny and her Tourette's. Yep, that's it. All that's right, guys, so Danny and Preston, they are in the bathtub and there's a, two phones that ring. Danny's cell phone rings and then what sounds like a house phone, she's like, wait a minute, I ain't paid a house phone bill in years. Like, who the hell is calling me? So when her cell phone rings again, Preston's like, you need to answer this phone because I mean, whoever it is, they obviously want something and they need to talk. 
So he ans she answers it, and it is none other than Sabrina. And Sabrina wants to talk about Panty Man and um, about Jacoby. Yep, Sabrina and Panty Man. Sabrina and Panty Man are so effing annoying. Like, to no avail, they are annoying. Danny ain't got time for this. She's like, girl, I'm laid up in the bathtub with the cowboy. You can call me tomorrow. But no, Danny, I need to talk. Sabrina. Sabrina. You need to make a decision. For some odd reason, you got to think for Panty Man. If you want to be with Panty Man, go be with him. Knock yourself out. Stop listening to what people... The thing with Sabrina is she listens to what people say. And she it internalizes that. It was the crack, it was the heroin, it was the meth thing. It was Maurice and he was having sex with another man. If you can't get past if it was the panties, it was the deal though. If you can't get past that stuff, let the man go. If you can, be with him. We are tired of it at this point. So um then we see the cops. They're questioning Andy. They're asking Andy, who is, you know, Jasmine? She says that's his ex-wife. She says we were getting ready for bed. And here's the thing that I have a question about. If Andy has a doorman, how in the hell did Jasmine get into her apartment? Like, if she has to okay people coming up, how did, how did Jasmine get? Never mind. Let's move on. So then, you know, she says she shot um, Gary. And they ask her, did she see it? I'm like, are you fucking joking with me? Did she see it when she just literally sat here and told you she shot him and she's in the room with him? But did she see it? Did she see it? Okay, I'm guessing she must be like Helen Keller and she's blind. Did she see it? Did she see it? I couldn't get over that. I couldn't get over that line. Did she see it? Did she see it? Did she see it? <laughs> that was the dumbest line I've ever heard. Did she see it? So then they ask her, are you guys having an affair? I'm like, what kind of cop is this to ask the question of, are you guys having an affair? What is that of your business? So then we see Zach. So Zach went over to Karen's house. He went over to Karen's house. And Karen says, what do you want, Zach? And he gives her $5,000. He says, so is, this is not because I took your money. She says, I know you didn't take it, Zach. He says, oh, now you believe me? She says, I saw bank footage of it, Zach. He's like, so it took for you to see bank footage to know that I didn't do it. So then, you know, um, she says, how long have you been seeing her, Zach? Because, you know, Andy told me that, you know, you, you talk, well, not, was it Andy or was it Danny? Well, it's Danny that told her he talks highly about her. And I was thinking to myself, Karen, why do you need to know that question? Unless you still want Zach, why do you need to know how long he was with? And obviously it wasn't why you guys were together. So girl, miss me with it. Miss me, miss me, miss me, miss me, miss me with it. Let's All right, you guys. So after, I guess after Danny and, um, what's his name? Cowboy, Cowboy, Preston got out the bathtub. She went into the bathroom and called Sabrina back. So she asked her, was Calvin mad? And she says, yes. And Danny is always the voice of reason, which is so interesting. Danny told her, girl, let it, you need to let it go. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Please let her let it go. I need her to let it go. So then she's like, but how do I, you know, I, what if he's the one for me and I've let him go? I was like, oh my God, Sabrina. Sabrina, Sabrina, Sabrina. Sabrina is frustrating. That's my issue when it comes to Sabrina and Panty Man. So they keep saying that Sabrina has a type and Sabrina's type is actually Jacoby, which is the roughneck, the thug, whatever you want to call him. And the thing, here's a question that I had about Jacoby. Was Jacoby fully naked? Because if you, there was one scene that I was looking at because I was looking at his V-line and the fact that he has a tattoo there, I was like, and I was like, wait a minute, is he actually really naked? Like, I'm pretty sure he probably had a sock cover. I'm pretty sure he had a sock cover in his dick. But I'm like, oh, he's, he's naked though. Um, Where are we at? Yeah, I just want 
for Calvin and Sabrina to just leave us alone. Please and thank you. So then Zach, he goes over to Fatima's place and she tells him that he needs to get his shit and leave his key. And then she was like, you know, Zach, why come you just couldn't be honest with me? Because you were acting funny when I came down to that house today. Why can't you just be honest with me and tell me like, hey, I fucked Karen. And I agree with her. Why couldn't he be honest? So, so, so Fatima doing a little bit of get back with, um, you know, at Mr. Uh, Mr. Zach. She's got another dude that's coming over and taking her on a date. And Zach kept calling him a basketball player. I don't know who he is. Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. Don't really give a shit. Keep it real with you guys. So Calvin. Calvin returned to Maurice's place all upset about Sabrina. And Maurice is like, why are you so upset? He's like, I went over to Sabrina's house. And there was that guy that you guys work with at the bank. Jacoby, yes. He was in her house. And he was at the refrigerator naked. And Maurice was like, oh, he was naked. Y'all know how Maurice is. So he's like, why do I even like her? Because she's special. <laughs> I'm like, Maurice, come on. He's like, why do I even like her? I'm going back over there. He said, wait a minute, you're going back over there? And Maurice said something in that scene that made, that I don't know if Calvin caught it, but it was the smartest thing that Maurice said to him in this scene. You went to Sabrina's house unannounced. You got what you, I mean, you, you got what you was asking for. You went over the unannounced to her house and you saw something that you didn't want to see. Are we about to wrap this episode up? Nope. The episode was good. I'm just trying to see how long my notes are. And we almost there. All right, guys. Here go another scene that kind of was interesting, I will say the least. So, Karen, she's at home and she's calling um, Andy. But we all know Andy's not able to get to her phone because of the cops. So it's going to voicemail. And, you know, Karen's like, what's going on over there that you can't answer the phone? Well, the fact that Jasmine broke into Andy's house and shot Gary two times, that's what's going on. So then there's a knock at um, Karen's door. Karen goes to the door and who's at the door? It is Aaron. So Aaron is drunk because she's like, have you been drinking? He says a little bit. She's like, it don't smell like a little bit. So then Aaron is like, I want, I want you, Karen. I'm like, oh my God. So then Aaron, he starts stripping his clothes off. He done pulled his pants down and got his boxer briefs on. And he's walking up on Karen. I was like, oh my God, please don't let him do what I think he's going to do. I'm like, Aaron, she's telling you no which I'm so surprised that she's telling, you know, because she, she's she been wanting it for a minute now. I'm like, Aaron, don't force yourself on her. I don't want you to do that, my buddy, but he didn't. But then he's, you know, when she when she told him to put your clothes on and he finally put his clothes on, then he started crying, talking about he felt so bad. I'm like, okay, this is interesting. I'm talking about he can do her better than Zach. I don't know about that one, buddy. Cause did you see the way they were going at it in that in that office? I don't know if you can compare. Just saying. So then Maurice, Maurice calls Sabrina and tells her that you know Calvin is coming back over, and he informs her of everything that Calvin told her. That's it. So Fatima, Fatima returned back from her date. So the guy that she went out on a date with, I'm guessing it's someone that she knew from her past. And he immediately ready to, you know, get it in with her. And she tells him, <laughs> pump the brakes, buddy. You got to go. And call me in about a week. I was like, in about a week? I'm like, oh. You really? So I'm like, okay, that's what it was. He was just there to make Zach jealous. So then she notices that Zach left the alarm to the car. And then she also sees an envelope of money. So she calls Zach and she says, you know, you left your envelope of money and you left the key. So come get it. He says, the money is for you. She's like, I don't want the money, Zach. So you can come get this money. He's like, it's for you. She's like, well, it'll be outside. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Please don't do that. Don't leave the money outside, girl. Keep the money. Play hardball with him. I, you know, me personally, I would have played hardball with Zach. I would have told him, you know, you can come get this money or not, whatever, whichever one you want to do. I really would have played hard ball with Zach. Just being honest with you guys. That's me.
Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up. So Jacoby, he was still at Sabrina's crib. He apologized to Sabrina. She tells him that, you know, it was a mistake being with him. I'm like, no, it wasn't. You did what you wanted to do. Be a grown woman and stand in your shit. That's my issue with Sabrina. She can't stand in her shit either. So then she asked him to leave. So then she goes to open the door. And who is at the door? Panty Man. So Panty Man comes in telling um, uh, Jacoby he needs to get out. And he got some bass in his voice at this point. And then, you know, so he, he the back and forth with those two. He, she tells him eventually that she found out from Danny that he allegedly did coke. He's like, well, is that why Maurice had me pissing the cup? Absolutely, nigga. Absolutely. You know what, you guys, I'm going to pause here and then we're going to wrap it up. All right, he's good. I, all right, you guys, to wrap up the episode, Zach went back over to Fatima's place. And I have, you know what, I got to say that I do have a little bit of respect for Zach. Because Zach told Fatima that he wants both. Ooh, my bad, you guys. Let me burping out here. He wants both she and and Karen and she was like what the fuck and he was like you know I asked you before have you ever been torn between somebody and that's what it is with Zach Fatima is what he wants he's you know she's good for him but he spent so much time with Karen so I get where Zach is coming from like that's my ex we have history together but I do like you I want to explore this I want to see where this can go I got Zach and you know she tells him I want you too but I also want you to go right about now and I think that eventually, with time, because it's not that serious between Zach and Fatima. They just started messing around with each other, so no feelings should be involved at this point. But it's like what Fatima said earlier in the episode, that Zach should have just been honest with her about what happened. <laughs> I'm laughing because I just thought about the next scene that's coming up that I'm talking about. So that's why I busted out laughing. She told Zach that he should have been honest with her about you know the situation. So then... The police have finally arrested Jasmine. Jasmine is saying to Andy, I'm going to get you, bitch. I'm going to get you, bitch. I'm coming back for you, bitch. And the cop's like, you should get a restraining order. I'm like, a restraining order? She just, I was thinking to myself, wait a minute. Why would Andy get a restraining order when she just shot Gary? We don't know. We don't even know if Gary is dead or alive, but she shot him. Like, that's attempted murder right there. But a restraining order. Okay, the cops must be hella incompetent in this town. So then she's, she's like, I'm not worried about her. I, all I want to know is how was Gary. So they take her in the room, and that's actually where the episode ended. So we don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that Gary is alive. I'm actually kind of going to assume, oh, what if that was a setup? I think it was a setup. Because I just remember it was a setup. It was a setup. I'm going to tell you guys what I think happened so you guys remember in a mid and before the mid season actually in the mid season finale well nope the season finale you guys remember the season finale season two gary told andy that her you know his the key was missing jasmine had it so i'm wondering if gary set this whole situation up but i mean he got shot he didn't have no bulletproof vest on or nothing so i don't know how you can fake that but it's gonna be something it's gonna be something Trust and believe it. I don't think Gary is dead. But that's it, you guys. Like the video, leave your comments in the comment section below, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else, and share this video. And until the next one, you guys, stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear your mask or not. Whichever one you choose to do, be safe in doing so. Be blessed, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Moving on to um, BET Presents The Encore.